So welcome everybody. Today we are in Cane Hill 16. This is a freehold residential high-rise development in District 9. Let's go check it out. So situated on 16 Cane Hill Rise, this is a one tower building project and it has a total of 39 units and it is expected to TOP in 2024 March, but usually it's earlier than that. So driving up Cane Hill Rise, as you turn left into your home, this is where your arrival drop-off will be. So on the first floor, we have the lab pool that is actually 20 meters in length. So on the 15th floor of the tower, we actually have a roof terrace. And here you have your barbecue pavilion, teppanyaki pavilion. And from there, you can also see into the vicinity of Cane Hill. So Cane Hill 16 is an award winner as well. They have won the best luxury condo architectural design and interior design. So in terms of availability, we have two bedrooms, Three, three plus study and four bedrooms. And for the four bedders, there's only one unit left. So for the two bedders, it starts from 2.06 million. For the three bedders, we have it starting from 2.87. For the three bed plus study, we have it at 3.47. And for the four bedder, which is only one unit left, it's going for 5.24. So we have a wide range of bedroom type and sizes for you to choose from. So right now we are in the show unit of Cane Hill 16. This is a 3 bed plus study, 1292 square foot unit. So coming out of this private lift lobby that we have here, we have the private foyer as well. Coming out of the private foyer, we have the island top here as well. And behind me is the cabinetry for the dry kitchen. So we have a wine chiller here that can fit up to 20 bottles of wine. We have an oven here and somehow another oven here as well. We have three gas hops here. Behind me we have the wash basin and lots of space for you to do your cutting and your chopping of your ingredients and groceries and then right behind me we have the yard area there's a wc here and a wash basin over here as well and behind me is the actual yard but they've actually made it into like a helper room so they have put a bed here as well which so is her own private toilet here and from here we're going to check out the master bedroom follow me welcome this is a nice size master bedroom there's a makeup counter over here and then over my left we have two giant wardrobe panels for your clothes and behind me is the ensuite of course master bathroom. So in terms of the finishing for the flooring and the, the walls here, we actually have this marble tile that kind of mimics stone. It's easy to clean, doesn't look dirty, it can last for a long time. So we have a split shower area and WC so that water doesn't get all over your toilet. So in this three-bed study, we have a balcony area right in front of the master bedroom. You can actually make this into your study area, your reading area as well. And also you can install a zip track or balcony screen here so that water doesn't come in from the rain and you can keep the aircon in as well. And right out here we have the dining set as well you can fit up to a six to eight seater over there we have the living area and over here you can fit up to like a six seater couch even and watch your tv with your family so before we go into the two bedrooms i want to show you the common bathroom which is hidden here so this common bathroom has the same finishings as the master bathroom. And right by here, this is actually where the study area is supposed to be. There's supposed to be a wall partition here, but you can actually remove it to extend your living area into a much bigger space. Then you can put maybe an, even a 10-seater couch if you wanted to. And right behind me are the bedroom two and bedroom three. Let's go check it out. So this bedroom is identical to the one over there and also we have this high ceiling here as well. You know, floor to ceiling glass panel of window space and there's also a built-in wardrobe as well. And over in this bedroom, we can actually see the height and the width of the window so lots of light can come into your room. Can we get tinted as well so that, you know, the heat doesn't come in and you can keep UV out. to highlight that in this unit we actually have a high ceiling of 3.2 meters all around so you can enjoy lots of space to make your bedrooms you know a loft kind of setting you can do that as well coming out here from the living and dining we have the balcony space as well some people will choose to make this their dining area but of course if you want to make it into whatever you want you can do that you can put zip track as well so that your whole living area is extended from 
inside all the way out. So we have prestigious schools within 1km of Kenyo 16 as well. We have Anglo Chinese School Junior, St. Margaret's Primary School, Ethan Howe International School. And also in the vicinity, we also have Raffles Girls School, Singapore Chinese Girls School, and ACS Barker Road. And of course, for shopping, we're only 10 minutes walk from the Orchard Shopping Belt. So you can get all your groceries and your dong 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 key and your high-end shopping from that area. For transport, we have Newton MRT, which is a interchange. And of course, we have the Orchard Station as well. So thank you everybody again for checking out Kenyo 16 with me. This is a free development in District 9. I'm Jonathan. If you like what you see here, give me a call. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.